Do I really have to go? Brian, you're a 35-year-old man-boy who never took his room springer. You'd rather spend your days counting clouds, picking daisies, and talking to the chickens. Chickens! People are starting to talk. The chickens produced more when I took the time to acknowledge their hard work. Are the people talking about that? Not this again. Brian, it's time for you to go out into the world and have an adventure. If you choose to come back, you can build your own farm and raise your own children. Can I just live with you? No! no. Henrietta, I think I'll miss you most of all. Wait, you're Amish? Well, no. I'm not sure. I'm still in my rebellious phase. Shoot, I gotta go check on Mitch. He still hasn't finished his speech for the anniversary party. Relax, I got this. I know how to light a fire under that man's ass. And go to hell? You know what, Candace? I'll meet you there. Oh, what are you gonna do? You and Dad already took away the most important thing in my life. What more do you want from me? Sorry? Mr. Gross has to go now. Bye! You feeling okay? Just peachy. Is your speech ready? Yeah. I'm going to publicly memorialize my sainted father mm -hmm. and thank Ron Foster for being the perfect mentor. If I don't vomit mid-speech, give me a gold star. We need to get you sobered up before Ron sees you. No. Come on. Mitchy Mitch! Jim, you startled me. The ladies say I had that effect on them. Emphasis on start. Mm. Boom. You. I want to talk about starting an office bridge league. Bridge League? You know, the card game. Jimbo's looking to get a little social. Seriously? I'm way too much woman for you. You're not my type. I like older women, much older. I was 13 years old and my grandma used to invite her friends over for bingo. They would rub my neck and tell me how supple I was. Ron's waiting for us. Gotta go. Okay, I'm gonna go to the mall and maybe I'll pass out some flyers. These brownies are tasty. My neighbor in Bushwick gave them to me? He smells like a skunk but he thinks I'm super funny. The intern orientation this morning was a sea of butterfaces. Next time, bring the hotness, right? <laughs> hey, superstar. Mitch, are you drunk again? We started early. Did you get an early start? Oh, we got an early start. I understand that we all need an early start sometimes. <laughs> Ow! Listen up. You're gonna drink this, you're gonna take a nice long walk around the block, and you're gonna think really good and hard about what you do. Do you understand me, bad boy? Do you understand me? I don't think you understand me, because I don't see your feet moving fast enough. Yeah, and then maybe if you're a good boy, maybe I'll get you a dirty Shirley. What? What? It's a cocktail. Um, I used to be a bartender at a dominatrix team club down in the East Village. Um, that's not something I really like to talk about. <laughs> you okay to finish the Puppy Parker's report, Farmer John? Absolutely. I've got these brownies to snack on and lots of milk. Cute. Just email it to me tonight so I can review it. Don't worry. Deep down, I know Mitch enjoyed that. I know I did. What's wrong, Henrietta? They're my new friends. Be nice. You said you'd be a good girl. 